and I welcome you back to the Debrinic channel and today we're going to be talking about the Three Gorges Dam. I have everything you need to know. We're going to be checking the radar. We're going to be checking the rain accumulations for the next 10 days. We're going to check out the water levels. We'll go to the live cam and be talking about that and we will see if we can find any other information. If so, we'll pass it along as we roll right over to windy.com. We're going to check out the last 12 hour radar loop. As we roll over here by Taiwan, you can see that there's a typhoon and it's called Chanthu. And it is just skirting Taiwan and we go in and we check out the satellite view and see this and we'll go the last 12 hours and watch it and it gets really really thick here. And I wanted to come here because as we go in here to the infrared over Chongqing and Enchi and Wuxi there's this big storm that blows up and it gets really really big. Look at this massive rainstorm that hit the area and it, it developed into a big old storm and moved to the southeast as it, there's always a little loop there. As we go to the radar loop you can clearly see that this thing was massive and you saw the clouds there. There's still some rain out there and this is going to increase the levels unless they open more gates. We'll be talking about that here in a little bit and we'll be seeing where the water levels are. We'll see what is going on there and then we're gonna go we're gonna go to the rain accumulation for the next three days and see what's going on. The next three days out there 2.25 inches up here up here just to the west of Dajo 3.4 inches and just to the south of Chongqing 4.46 we go the next 10 days check this out this is insane 8.3 9.52 7.23 7.7 this is not good news 5 inches over here Ganalu over here 4.6 down here even 5 inches over here 5.52 Yo Yang over here 6.52 Yi Chang even is going to get in on some of the action 1.78 Wu Shi up here 3.9 inches in Chi 3.23 and this is not going to bold well there's a lot of rain coming in the next 10 days according to this so we'll be watching this very carefully let's go see what the water levels are at the three gorges right now okay we are at the three gorges right here the three gorges reservoir the 11th at 1700 hours 165.68 it is on the decrease it's not on the increase because they have 33,300 out meters that is and this is 165.68 meters and it doesn't show the ends at all sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't this time of night generally it doesn't because it's early in the morning maybe it will later in the day this evening if you guys want to check I'll leave the link below this website is called cgh.com Com .cn. So you can check that anytime you guys want and it shows Wulong and Yiching and Sand City and all these other ones here, the mouth of the lake, Moping and Dragon Temple. It shows all the water levels, even the three gorges. So there you have that. And here we are at the Three Gorges. You can see right now that they have four to five bays open. It's really hard to tell, but it looks like five almost. Looks like there's five. What do you guys think? Is it four or five coming out of B there? And you can see, I'd like to thank Derek Schleck. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Forgive me if I didn't, Derek. Um, thank you for your common usage here. This is fantastic. You finally found some live webcam of it. You want to check out Derek's YouTube channel. I will leave the link below and you can check it out and even donate to Derek. That would be fantastic. And he also has the windy.com radar or a radar. I don't know if it's windy or not. And then he has other pictures from behind the dam, which is fantastic as well. And a couple of those. A, B, and C. B is the one I'd like to look at. It's currently 7.55 and 13 seconds when I'm making this and basically 7.55 in the morning there. My current time is 6.56 so I'm 11 hours behind them as it's already September 12th there in China. The sun is shining. You can see the clouds to that front just to the East of the dam there, you can see that there's some clouds, but it's mainly a clear sky there and the clouds down low. That's probably from all that water coming up from the dam, I would imagine. There's a lot of evaporation there. That would be really, really moist there, I can imagine. But there you have that. Now I have some information on the dam itself that I found. There's not a whole lot I found 
but I figure I'd go ahead and share that information with you as well. So without further ado, let's roll over and check that out. This is the waterpowermagazine.com news, and it's talking about August 30th, and this is 2021. China's Three Gorges Corporation has announced that the Three Gorges Project, that the world's largest hydro project, connected all of its 34 power units to the grid on August 30th, achieving full load operation for the first time in 2021 with a total output of 22.5 gigawatts. Operating at full capacity, the Three Gorges project is able to generate 0.54 terawatt hours electricity a day, which is enough to power 5.4 million households of one month on the assumption that the monthly average electricity consumption of a family of three is 100,000 kilowatts, said Zhou Yi, vice president of the Three Gorges project under the China Yangtze Power Company Ltd. C. TGS Listen Arms. Due to the substant rainfall in the upper reaches of the Yangtze River recently, the inflow volume of the Three Gorges Reservoir exceeded 22,000 cubic meters per second and embraced three floods over 40,000 cubic meters per second. In addition to the flood control, Three Gorges Reservoir regulated the discharge volume and lock steps with the power unit at full capacity, managing to control the water levels at the reservoir to increase gradually. The facility at the complex include the Three Gorges Dam and the Three Gorges Shiplock operating safely during the operations. So there you have it for the first time in a long time they actually increased all their power of 5.4. Now on a sad note I'd like to take a minute to remember the people who died in the towers and the people who died at the Pentagon on September 11th. It's just a terrible terrible sad day and it was very very sad. So let's go ahead and take a moment here and give those people a moment of silence and remembrance because it was just a tragic day. So without further ado Let's never ever forget that day and always remember anybody that was alive to see it and remember it was just a tragic, tragic day. You guys probably remember exactly where you were and what was happening. I was working at a box factory and there was just a crazy meeting going on in the office amongst secretaries and management and next thing I know I get a phone call from my wife telling me to come home and I didn't know if I could go home and it, when I did finally get home it was just tragic and devastating. I'm sure everybody can tell their tale where they were on that day. I was in my young 20s then. I am currently 45 years old so that was that was my mid-20s then as time keeps marching on we keep getting older. So with that you guys have a blessed day and we will see you on the next one. God bless.